It gives you this feeling that only skateboarders know, you know? And I feel like, I feel like we can't lose that, you know? Like, that's a, that's a big thing with magazines. So I love that the magazines are hanging in there and, you know, they're still, they're still there. And I feel like they need to be there because that feeling, you don't get that feeling when you watch a video. You get it when you see a photo and you're like, holy shit, look at this photo. Dude, you see the photo of, you know, like whoever it was doing whatever he did. Like, you know, like he, that feeling doesn't come from a video. It comes from a photograph. I always just viewed sort of magazines as like a connection to like a lineage of, of archives almost of the history of skateboarding, something tangible that you could see, feel, and, and go back to and reference, sort of. That's how I always like to look at them, you know? Once that print got out there, people could see and mimic what it was. That's what I did. I mimicked everything. I played skateboarding. Lucero and I talk about it all the time. Like, we played skateboarding. Other kids played cowboys and Indians, bank robbers. Uh, they played football or whatever. We played skateboarding. So there were no cell phones, no digital cameras, no internet, and that's it. Like, nobody had video cameras. You got, you got your experience um, from magazines. I don't care if most people would prefer to look at a skateboarding bulldog on their phone or a, a kid doing a quadruple kickflip at the skate park. Um, that's fine. That's funny and I like that stuff too but like when it really comes down to it what, what really speaks to you and what's important to you and what becomes part of the conversation with you and your friends and shapes your outlook on things, that's where I think Thrasher and print magazines are important. To hold a magazine and to read it and touch it, there's a certain sensation with that. You know, like a lot of magazines I get, like technical magazines, you want a digital download? I'm like, absolutely not. You know, I want to hold a magazine, you know. I look at monitors too much already. It's like, give me something else, please. To my generation, magazines will always be special because it's how we learned about skating and learned about our heroes in the skate magazines and stuff. So whether <clears throat> uh, skate media changes, magazines will always be important to us. I'm not sure about the next generation of kids, but for us, they will always be important. And now it's just kind of, you have, you have to Instagram, you have to, you know, Snapchat and Facebook and all these different things that it's so flooded now that you're just kind of, confused of what direction to even look at. You know what I mean? It's like barracks, thrasher, make a video part, it's gone in two days. Everybody already forgot it, you know? So it's like back, it used to just be, get a magazine ad, and that's how you reviewed to everybody. That's, your, that's how you stayed relevant, and that was like the most important thing.